Where's my flames? Introducing the challenger from Queens, New York, weighing in at 379 pounds, the assassin, Ricky Lee. It's a big fight feel here tonight as the title is on the line. And title matches like this have a way of getting your blood flowing. I'm just going to be a good guy. No matter what I do, they won't fucking boo me. Why be a heel? <laughs> One of the signature superstars in NXT history. Now we just saw the belt hanging over the ring. Introducing the champion from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa. But there it is in his hand. No matter what you think about him, you can't deny Ciampa's as tough as they come. Yeah, we've seen Ciampa recover from not one but two career-threatening injuries. Not only that, but he recovered ahead of schedule and came back in the best shape of his life. The worst place to be is across the ring from a motivated Tommaso Ciampa. We beat him for the title in the Iron Man match. 15 falls to none. Bloodied him up good. Some love him, some love that was an ass kicking for the ages. I got no respect for this fucker. I don't know what you're talking about. And Champa will not stop until he gets exactly what he wants. Well, Ricky Lee's got one thing on his mind here tonight, and it's payback. <laughs> I guess the next opportunity I have, I'll just become a good guy. Why? It doesn't matter. It's been a long road to this rematch between Tommaso Ciampa and his opponent, but here we are. With the United it doesn't States matter being a, a heel. It doesn't matter. They don't boo you on this, <clears throat> no matter what you do. I don't have to prove it. I beat him 15 falls to none. Mounted with punches and not stomping. Ouch. Gonna do that running kick. Running jumping kick. You know, superstars have been jumping off ladders for the fans in the 70s. Love that. Take off until Brent Hart brought it to the WWE. It's all right. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all the lethal. You can bet you're going to bleed here tonight, Mr. Champa. That didn't work out how I wanted. Here's a combo of strikes. Knee right to the face. Bam. And he's keeping the pressure on. That's what he does. Keep on the attack. This is in Seguri. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? What might you think it would be? He gets back into the ring. 
Come on, I'm, I'm ready for you. Oh, oh, he stopped the signature boot to the face. It's all right. Oh, you bitch. supposed to be it didn't work this is not gonna be good. there he goes now he's bleeding Fucking ladder out of the ring. Nasty right hand. It's a guy to the floor. Just defenseless is the moment. I gotta go out there to get the ladder anyway, so. That's a bad landing. Take it to the air and completely wiping out. Yeah. No, get out of there. And of course, Kendo sticks are always under the ring in the event of any rogue ninja attacks. Knee strike connects. Really? Back into the ring. Yeah, set it up for me. Here he comes. Looks like that ladder set perfectly in the center of the ring. Brian Haymaker's 15 feet above the canvas. These two just don't care. That might have saved the match for him right there. Or at least bought him some valuable time. He's got to keep working to get this one. Grab it. Put those educated fingers to good use. Shut up, Saxton. Here we go. Making that all important for him up the ladder. I think this is it. Please don't. He's got him where he wants him now. It would be a little easier to do without that uh, bar blocking half of it. Got it.